What's up, Star Wars fans? David Land here, and today I'm bringing you an unboxing and review, and I use that lightly because it's not really a full unboxing and review as detailed as I've done in the past, of the Walmart-exclusive Resistance X-Wing from the Star Wars The Force Awakens line from Hasbro. The reason I say that I'm using that loosely is why you've probably clicked on the video. This is going to be more of a comparison between the Resistance X-Wing and Poe's Black X-Wing, which I already did a full unboxing, review, and product demonstration of. And you may be asking why I'm doing a review on what you would say is essentially the same toy, because it really is. It's the same mold, um, essentially a different, a different pack and figure, but it really it comes down to the paint job. Well, the play features and all that stuff is the same, so if you want to check that out, please click the card in the corner right there to see the review of Poe's Black X-Wing. But the reason I picked this up and the reason I wanted to do a review on this is because um, Poe's Black X-Wing, there were a lot of quality control issues to say the least. Um, the plastic seemed to be a very poor, very thin. Um, it also, the, the cannons, the uh, cannons you can see right here, were warped uh, coming right out of the package, um, and so was the nose cone. So, um, rumor has it that they fixed the issues with this one. So, uh, with Christmas coming up, or just, you know, for collectors, uh, I figured I'd take the plunge and show you uh, these X Wings side by side. So, this is David Land on YouTube, and let's get to comparing. So really quick, let's take a look at the box. Again, you get some fantastic artwork of Poe Dameron. Uh, this time he's in his like resistance gear. Uh, you can see that jacket that everybody's been speculating so much about. Uh, we turn it around to the back here, um, as you, and you can see definitely the difference between uh, the old X-Wing that they released on Force Friday and this one. A few of the action features uh, we've gone over in the previous videos. Uh, and then you can read this little thing right here, which says, The uh, modern incarnation of a classic design, the Incom T-70 X-Wing Starfighter, is the signature combat craft of the Resistance in their fight against the First Order. And actually, I have to say, that's kind of cool, what they've done here. Um, this isn't like a scene from the movie. It seems like it's uh, uh, some uh, interesting photography, which is really great. And then there's some other stuff that they want you to buy. In fact, I reviewed that, um, the Ray Speeder from Jakku. So if you want to check that out... Um, you can click that card right there. So uh, let's uh, unbox this thing and see what uh, and confirm my suspicions that essentially everything's the same inside. There is the blue Resistance X-Wing fighter out of its box, and as you can see, those are some straight cannons. Look at that. I mean, there is not a, uh, I mean that, I mean, somebody get a ruler. <laughs> and it seems as though, we'll have to take a closer look at it, but it looks like that nose cone's pretty straight in there as well. Um, exactly the same as the uh, black X-Wing in terms of what you get in the box. So. Um, uh, I'm going to uh, assemble this thing off camera, put the stickers on, uh, and then we're going to show you the two X-Wings side by side. So very quickly, this is the figure you get with the blue X-Wing. It's a new version, I say new very uh, loosely, a new vi uh, version of Poe Dameron. Uh, he's got this new helmet paint job, however it's essentially the same as the basic Poe Dameron figure. And as you can see, mine has a little bit of... Uh, run of the white uh, onto the yellow visor. Um, but yeah, uh, I do like the helmet design. I, man, I sure do wish because um, on the uh, black X-Wing you get this Poe Dameron figure which has the removable helmet and I so wish that this one had come with a removable helmet. It's really kind of disappointing. Um, you also get his blaster rifle, his resistance blaster rifle. Um, no paint job or anything on there. 
Um, and then you have the body of the figure, which uh, basic five points of articulation. You've still got the ball jointed head, which is nice. Um, and then you have the uh, swivel legs. Of course, I, I'm pretty sure this is exactly the same as the armor up Poe Dameron body. Maybe a slightly different leg stance. I mean, it's so very close. But um, unfortunately, I believe this is the best of it. In terms of, like, my opinion, this is the best version of Poe, I should clarify. And of course, it's the one you have to pay $14 for at Walmart. So, um, yeah, that's kind of silly. I uh, wish he had come with a removable helmet, but um, sometimes beggars can't be choosers. Perhaps they took that removable helmet uh, budget and uh, put it into straightening the X-Wing cannon. So uh, it's always give and take. All right, so let's go over exactly how I feel about this X-Wing. And I have to say, I'm feeling much better about this version uh, than I was the black version, which we will see uh, side by side with that in just a second. Um, the nose cone, uh, completely straight. Uh, very, very straight, as you can see. Very nice, even though it's still that rubber. Um, obviously, that's a safety feature at this point, unfortunately. Um, we've gotten to that point where kids are not to be trusted with regular nose cones. You've got the perfectly straight cannons. Look great on both sides. Very, very nice. Um, and I will even point out that the canopy uh, feels better. Um, on my black X-Wing, doesn't snap very well. This one snaps in tight. It's great. Um, landing gear, essentially the same. No real difference there. You've got the firing missile, which I'm not going to fire because I don't want to fire it across the room, but, you know, it's still there. Um, it's still subtle, so I'll give them credit. This is the mechanism that worked the best on the black X-Wing, and it still works very well. You just push down BB-8, and yes, that is BB-8 in there, so spoilers, maybe? I don't know. And then you uh, pull in that uh, button there, and that's how you lock your S-foils back into flight position. So, essentially, a very nice X-Wing. Let's see how Poe fits in there, the Poe that comes with uh, the uh, ship. And because I know how to do that, I knew I could, you can do it with the armor up Poe and the black X-Wing. So, yeah, let's take his gun off. I was going to try to put him in there with his gun. You can do it, but in, in, uh, in the in a timely manner, we're just going to get him in there. And I've kind of messed up his arms there. It's still a very tight fit. That's just part of it, part of the deal. But you can get him in there pretty easily. And he looks pretty nice in there. I have to give Hasbro some credit. Um, the blue helmet with the blue X-Wing looks very nice. Again, I just wish it was removable. So, let's take a look at this bad boy versus the other X-Wing. So here you are, the blue X-Wing side by side with the black X-Wing. Or, why am I calling it that? I should, if I'm gonna call this one the blue X-Wing, I should call this one the orange X-Wing because this one is clearly more white and this one is clearly more black, but whatever. Um, <laughs> so, the white X-Wing with the blue stripes versus the black X-Wing with the orange stripes. Um, the uh, comparison is obvious here or the difference, I should say. Um, you can see the nose cone here uh, versus the white nose cone on the uh, white and blue X-Wing. The And you can just tell on the black X-Wing, and I'm going to show you a close-up right now, um, the black X-Wing's uh, nose cone is just, war and I don't know why it is this way. Perhaps it's the material they use, perhaps they had to um, the the darkish gray black ish um, color perhaps maybe um, the rubber uh, doesn't work all that well um, in that color um, I don't know um, then we move over to the cannons here and you can obviously see the difference there now I will give Hasbro some credit on the cannons for the black X-wing they are replacing them um, I didn't do it because I knew I was going to do this um, review, and uh, after I get this review done, I'm going to try to straighten them out myself, and then maybe contact Hasbro and see if I can't get new ones. Um, but if you're, you have your heart set on the black one, you can get straight cannons. It's just going to be a pain. Um, from what I understand, they like make you send them back, and then you have to wait like 90 days or something like that. So um, some of us just don't want to mess around with that kind of stuff. So you know, it is what it is in terms of that. But um, credit where credit's due on the white X-Wing, man, those suckers are straight. Um, it looks great. And I have to say, it, man, what a difference it makes. 
um, between the two uh, because one just looks fabulous the other one you know not so much and it's the same mold they use the same parts um, it's the same size I mean obviously you still got the problem with the cockpit but again um, opening and closing the cockpit um, one just feels stronger than the other um, obviously it seems like to me they realized that they had a problem early on in production with these X-Wings um, and they couldn't fix it in time with the black one so uh, when they did the Walmart exclusive blue one here um, they uh, changed a lot of things and fixed a lot of things which is nice now in terms of like what I would suggest to like parents or a collector um, I would definitely say especially at the fifty dollar price I mean if you've got a kid who really wants an X-Wing this year get the blue one and my reasoning is that I think because Poe is a main character you are going to get this black X-Wing again re-released alright and with the white one or the white and blue one I keep mixing up the colors just <laughs> um, but with this one I think we are gonna get another version of this at some point um, but I think it will be further down the line especially considering that this one's an exclusive and when something's an exclusive generally generally they want to uh, keep it as an exclusive to the uh, vendor they sold the exclusive to so um, the best chance of us getting another X-Wing very soon and I'm sure we will if not in the episode 7 line we'll get it in the episode 8 line um, will be the black and orange X-Wing so um, if you don't want to mess around with contacting Hasbro and fixing um, and having them fix their own problem um, with the black one I would su suggest for this year to pick up the blue one because it looks fantastic um, it's still got all the play features that the uh, the black and orange one comes with but uh, the white and blue one uh, has none of the flaws the major flaws I mean other people I know have complained about the size issue and the fact that Poe doesn't fit in the cockpit all that well but again that's you know you have to put up with some of that stuff and if you don't I mean there's always Lego <laughs> because I know they did a, a very good version of this black and orange one and uh, I'm actually hoping to pick that up at some point uh, but you know there you go that's the comparison between what is really called <laughs> so read the box the resistance X-Wing I guess this is the generic Starfighter and then you've got Poe's uh, X-Wing Starfighter which is Black Leader and you've got I guess just Blue Squadron maybe I don't know uh, I haven't seen the movie yet uh, but uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If this uh, review has been helpful to you, please leave a like on it and uh, leave me a comment. Uh, I always uh, appreciate them. I always read them. It's always fun to talk Star Wars with people in the comments. So uh, we're two weeks away from The Force Awakens. I can't be more excited. Um, it's going to be awesome. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. And may the Force be with you.